Hello everyone, it's John, back again with another product review. Uh, this time I'm going to be doing a comparison where I take three similar uh, products from three different companies, compare them, and tell you which one I think is best. Um, one, tasting, and two, uh, which one is the best deal or price point. Um, <clears throat> this is going to be an interesting one because nobody online that I've seen has done a comparison or review like this um, mostly because these are all relatively new products in the market the oldest one um, was founded in April of 2019 so <clears throat> not even a uh, complete two years old for the oldest one of these yet I have reviewed that one however and that is and this will tell you what these other things are Jot Ultra Coffee. I did a review of this a while ago. This is a new jar. Um, the oldest thing I have here is uh, this one, which came on February 17th. The other two both came on February 25th, which was yesterday. So I'm making sure I'm doing this at uh, the freshest that I have all three of these. Um, so little bit of information why I'm doing this you know I've reviewed this one before I got a targeted ad on my social media for this product Javi liquid microdose coffee so I thought I might as well buy that and review it and then I can tell people uh, if it's better or worse than Jot was and then almost the same day I bought that I got another ad for this one by radically fast super concentrated coffee um, so I thought might as well get that one as well but before I do that let me do some Google searches make sure like if I buy this there's not gonna be a fourth fifth sixth one so I did a little research there are no other products that I have seen that are specifically like these three there are other concentrated coffee products um, but they're not what these ones refer to as super concentrated um, there's a lot of cold brew uh, concentrates which usually come in like a big jug and it's usually like a three to one mixture these ones are super concentrated and they take tablespoons or in some cases teaspoons to mix in with a cup of water uh, behind all these three I have three clear glasses that are filled with what was boiling water uh, not too long ago. I'm going to try to get to the reviews as quick as possible um, so they don't get too cold. But after I taste them, I'm going to give you a lot of information. I have a lot of information that I've written down, taken from their websites, did some math, which was really fun because I'm a math person. Um, so I can tell you guys some cool stats, interesting things, the best way to purchase the cheapest ones, and at what uh, quantity you need to get to get those prices. Anyway, let's go ahead and make our drinks. Starting with the Jot. Jot is an ultra coffee. It says right there, ultra coffee. On the back says 20 times concentration one tablespoon and you can all these three say they say basically the same thing mix it with water mix it with milk uh, mix it with ice cream even the jot one has a little, one of these little pull tabs to open it you can see these are fresh containers and it's kind of like a little cork so these are all measured out at 8 ounces, 1 cup of hot boiling water. <clears throat> the jot says to add 1 tablespoon. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to add 1 tablespoon. We got a little mix. Um, I'm going to have a little smell. 
Smells like coffee. All right, here we go with the Jot. I put them in the glass cups so you can see, and later on we can compare kind of colors for them. Jot is rich and smooth. It's a good cup of coffee. Moving on. Next up we have Javi. Um, I'm going to get into this later when I go into more detail about these. This one's just got like a screw cap and then a little peel off foil kind of tab. But uh, Javi is a different concentration than the other ones. Instead of a tablespoon, they say one to two teaspoons. Oof, that doesn't smell. The Javi one doesn't smell like rich coffee like that one does. This one almost smells med medicinal. Uh, this one says one to two teaspoons, and it also says 30 servings in a bottle. And if you divide that by how much uh, liquid is in said bottle, it's actually 5.9 milliliters. And um, a teaspoon is five milliliters, so I'm going to add an eighth of a teaspoon, which gives me about a little bit more, like almost points, point 0.7. And uh, I'll talk about that more once we get into the details of it. Put this cap back on. All right, here we go. A cup of the Javi. Coffee. Less coffee smell. Less coffee taste. Tastes kind of watered down, but like when I opened it, it didn't really have a coffee smell to begin with. Uh, so far, not very good for the Javi flavor wise. Lastly, we have One Buy Coffee. This one is also one tablespoon. Has one of these little wrappers around the top and a screw top, I think. Yep. And we're going to add a tablespoon to this cup of what once was boiling water. Spilled a little bit on my desk there. Give it a stir. Give it a smell. Mmm. It has an interesting smell to it. It doesn't smell like the Jot one smells very rich in coffee flavor. This one almost has a sweet flavor to it. Smell to it. Anyway, we mix that up. Here you can see that. You can almost see like how the light's hitting it through the bottom that this one is definitely a little bit lighter in color than the other ones. And I'm just going by the directions it says one tablespoon, just like the Jot was, in eight ounces, one cup of water. Now this one does have a smell to it. I don't think it's like necessarily reminiscent of coffee. It's like some kind of sweet smell. Hmm. It 
definitely coffee. It's almost like a a lighter roast, I would say. We get like definitely some bitter tannin flavor in there. It has a sweet smell, but like a bitter flavor. Okay. I don't hate that one. So if we're going just by black coffee, by flavor, Jot is the winner here. The smell, this smells like, like a, if you go to a barista and get a cup of coffee. The Javi one, this one uh, smells and tastes like the the work coffee that um, they use whatever the most economical um, brand of pre-ground coffee packets are. Like barely any flavor at all. And then the one by it's the most unique out of the three flavor wise it's got like almost a fruity flavor to it i think is this the one that said it was nutty aroma with smooth flavors of chocolate and soft fruit that actually is kind of what i'm tasting here it's like a almost like a fruity flavor okay what i'm going to do now is i'm going to add a little bit of cream to them because i know some people say well what will it taste like the way I like it with a little bit of cream in it so this cream is uh, coffee mate natural bliss real milk and cream uh, this is sweet cream flavor so it has some sweetness to it I'm gonna give each one a little stir to get the cream incorporated. Let's go with the jot one first. It tastes like coffee and cream. See, if I was like in a hurry and just needed coffee, uh, it would get the paper cup with just black coffee so you can just get pure uh, energy. If I'm sitting down doing work for a while, I prefer it with some cream in it so I can just sit down, relax, do some work, sip it. And that's what that tastes like. Like some working sipping coffee. Here's the Javi. It's better with the cream in it. Still is lacking in like a coffee flavor. There's a little bit of bitter in there. But overall, not great. Here's a one by. I actually like the one by better without it. The uh, that f sweet fruity flavor that is in there is kind of now masked by the the sweet cream. Hmm. Yeah. Um. Definitely, Jot still winning here overall flavor wise. The surprising thing is how much the one by doesn't taste as good with uh, the cream in it and the jolly one definitely tastes better with the cream in it just because you're getting some flavor out of the, the sweet cream um, anyway now that I have tasted all those three and the taste review part is done now I'm going to tell you some information about these three Let's start with Jot. This Jot 
is a 6.8 ounce bottle or 200 milliliters and the entire bottle has 2,100 milligrams of caffeine. For ev that means for every tablespoon you put in your cup, it's about 150 milligrams of caffeine. Um, just so you know, a typical coffee is somewhere between 90 and 100. So it is more caffeinated. It's about a coffee and a half per coffee. Um, also, I believe 300 milligrams of caffeine per day is the recommended limit. I'm definitely going to go over with these three, but I'm not going to be anywhere near a, a health risk limit. Um, I believe the, the uh, amount of caffeine that would kill you, I believe, is 150 milligrams per kilogram of body weight. Uh, so it would take me a lot. I think the most concentrated one I have is this, and it would take about seven drink seven bottles of those and I could die um, but back to Jot Jot is only available at Jot.co you can get in the stores or any other online retailer just at their own website uh, it is organic fair trade the beans come from South and Central America um, it says it lasts 20 to 30 days in the fridge refrigerate after opening the glass is, of course, 100% recyclable. Um, doo -doo -doo. Here's the pricing. I bought these all as single bottles, so I bought them at the single bottle price. For Jot, the single bottle price is $24 plus $6 shipping, so it's $30 a bottle. If you divide that between how much it says it makes, it says it makes about 14 cups. It's two dollars and fifteen cents per cup. It's not cheap. Jot is not cheap. If you buy two bottles, the price doesn't change, but you get free shipping. So it goes down to about twenty-four dollars a bottle, which gives you the cup price of a dollar seventy-two per cup. Mm -hmm. If you buy three, you get a discount plus free shipping. It goes down to about twenty-two dollars and eighty cents per bottle. Or about dollar sixty-three per cup. Uh, there are what I found two coupons that currently work. Thomas twenty gives you twenty percent off, and Joe's list, I uh, believe, gives you fifteen percent off. Um, some extra things here. Jot was made in Boulder, Colorado, by co-founders Andrew Gordon, who's the current CEO, and Palo Hawken. They founded Jot in April of 2019 in Boulder, Colorado. Uh, also on the website, you can get a measuring spoon for $3. They have a subscription service for Jot as well. And you can get your subscription service in two, three, or four week periods. And you can either have them send you one, two, or three bottles per two, three, or four weeks. Um, and you get a discount an additional discount by doing the subscriptions. I won't give you every single little information, but I will tell you the cheapest way to purchase uh, Jot currently is if you subs do the subscription for three bottles per period. You can do it as much as four week every four weeks. So every month, three bottles. It'll cost you fifty-seven dollars per month. And that will give you the per cup price of a dollar thirty-six per cup. And if you use the twenty percent off code, that lowers the price down to about a dollar and nine cents per cup. So currently, the cheapest way to purchase Jot is subscription of three bottles per period. Use the twenty percent off, and it's a dollar oh nine per cup. Moving on to Javi, the liquid microdose coffee. Also interesting is that like Jot calls it themselves ultra coffee. Javi says microdose coffee, and one buy calls it super concentrated coffee. I don't know if they have 
different or similar ways that they extract it. Um, they all say that their methods are proprietary. Um, Javi is probably the most complicated purchasing way out of all of them. Uh, so, Javi also says it's organic and fair trade. Uh, they say they are made of Arabica beans in pure water, um, and the Arabica beans are from Colombia. There's three different places you can buy Javi. You can buy it on their website, javicoffee.com. They even, Javi has their own eBay store, and Javi has their own Amazon store. Um, on the eBay store and the Amazon store, no matter what you buy, the shipping is free. You only pay for shipping if you actually buy it from their website at javicoffee.com. They also say their bottles are recyclable. In fact, all three say their glass bottles are recyclable. All three say that their products are refundable. Uh, Jot just says that there is a full refund guarantee. Javi says there's a 30-day period you can get a refund. And one buy says, basically in their section, send them an email and they most likely will refund you. Um, so Jot was a 6-ounce bottle. Javi is a 6.8... No. Jot was a 6.8-ounce bottle or 200 milliliters. Javi is 6 ounces or 177.4 milliliters. Um, it says 30 servings per bottle, but it says that a serving is 1 to 2 teaspoons. Uh, but if you're going to go for a full 30, that's 5.9 milliliters per serving which is more than a teaspoon by like a milliliter. Um, in each cup, it says there's 80 to 100 milligrams of, of uh, caffeine. There is 3,500 milligrams of caffeine in the bottle itself. Of the three, it is the most concentrated caffeine-wise. Because it's super concentrated, there's more caffeine in the bottle, but since you're giving a smaller dose in the water, it actually has less caffeine in it than the other two. Uh, here are the ways you can buy it. On their website, it costs $19.95, but then it, the interesting thing about that is it has the number 24 crossed out, and then it's $19.95. So, um, this company it was created in August of 2020 by Brandon, the founder, and Justin, his partner, out of Jacksonville, Florida. So, August 2020, this was founded. And have you ever sold the bottle for $24? Or or what? Because, like, it's kind of like those commercials that, like, say it's a discount, but it's always a discount. So, the discount is just their normal price. Um, so, $19.95 for one bottle plus $4.99 shipping. Two bottles, you're paying $18.95 per bottle plus $4.99 shipping. And if you get three bottles, it's $17.95 per bottle plus zero shipping. Because an interesting thing about the Javi website is that their free shipping is based on a total price and not how many bottles. You have to spend more than $44.95 to, re to receive free shipping and they have other things on the website you can buy as well they have a decaf version for what is the point um, for 19.95 so it's this regular price of a single bottle there's no uh, discounts to buy more of those ones you can get a tumbler which is just a cup with a lid for 19.95 you can get a travel mug for 19.95 and they also sell uh, a set of copper straws you get two straws one that's straight, one that's bent, uh, for $14.95, and they come with uh, one silicone tip for those straws. Uh, one interesting thing about them is that they're described as a copper straw, but in the description it says it's made of 100% stainless steel. So what is it? The pictures look like copper, maybe it's like colored stainless steel, I don't know. Um, here's the interesting thing about Joppy, though. Um, on Amazon, it's the same price, $19.95, but it's automatically free shipping, no matter how many you get. Uh, but on their eBay uh, store, 
it starts at 1995, but then it, if you buy two, it goes down to 1895, but if you buy three, it goes down to 1795. However, if you go on eBay and buy four bottles, there's an even bigger discount. $16.32 per bottle. And uh, it's free shipping as well. Um, to mirror what the, the jot is. So the jot was, if you buy one, one bottle, you're basically paying $2.15 per cup of coffee. For Javi, if you buy one bottle off their website, it's only 84 cents per cup. But if you get it the cheapest way possible, which means if you buy it from their eBay store, you get four of them, free shipping, I did the math, that comes out to 54 cents per cup of coffee. So Javi, even though it doesn't have the greatest flavor, is definitely way cheaper than Jot. Uh, like I said, the cheapest way to get Jot would be to get a subscription of three with the discount code. So that probably only works one time. And then it gives you a, a price of $1.09 per cup. In Javi, all you have to do is buy four bottles on eBay and you get it for 54 cents per cup. Um, but even at 84 cents per cup for the full price of regular bottle and shipping, it's still cheaper than the cheapest way to get Jot. So there's Javi. And lastly, we have One Buy. One Buy comes in the largest bottle. It is 8.5 ounces or 250 milliliters. It says that you have 17, yep, makes 17 cups of coffee. Um, this one is very similar to the Jot in the way that there's 150 milligrams per tablespoon. Use one tablespoon for a cup of water. They don't sell any extras on their website, so like Jot has the spoons you can buy, Javi has the cups and the straws you can buy. One buy only has this coffee. Uh, they say that they're single origin Peruvian coffee. It doesn't say organic. It doesn't say fair trade. I don't know if that means it, if that isn't the case, um, but uh, that's all it says is single origin Peruvian. In the entire bottle, there's 2,500 2, milligrams of caffeine. You can only get it at onebuy.co. Uh, it says it has a 90 day shelf life. Um, the Jot said 20 to 30 days in the fridge. The Javi said four to six weeks in the fridge. The One Buy says 90 day shelf life. The uh, One Buy was founded in June of 2020. And it was founded by a man named Tim Oringer. Oringer. And the interesting thing is that it was also founded in Boulder, Colorado. Same place where Jot was founded. I thought that was interesting because they both came with very similar addresses. Um, and I looked them up, and the addresses are less than a mile away from each other. Uh, by the time this video is over, I could have walked from one facility to the other. But here's the prices. For one bottle, it's $16 plus $5.99 shipping, which is $21.99 per bottle, or $1.30 per cup of coffee. If you buy two bottles, that is, uh, they drop the, they drop the uh, shipping of five ninety nine, and they give you a slight discount, and it becomes about fifteen dollars and fifteen cents per bottle, or eighty nine cents per cup. If you buy three, it goes down to fourteen dollars and twenty seven cents per bottle, which equals to about eighty four cents per cup. I didn't find any way to get it any cheaper than that. Um, so. It is definitely not as cheap as the Javi. If you remember, in its full price, Javi is 84 cents per cup. And one buy at its cheapest price is 84 cents a cup. Um, so, with all that information, here's what I know. Javi is the premium one of these three. It has the richest flavor, the smoothest taste, but it is the most expensive. Uh, there are ways 
to get the price lower. Um, so if this is something that you're going to have a lot, uh, if you really like it, it's probably your best option because you can get it as low as, and this is um, without any discounts, a dollar thirty-six per cup. So if you think you can drink three of these bottles every four weeks, um, that's fourteen cups per bottle. Uh, so that is 14, 28, 30, 42. 42 cups of coffee per month. So that means you're drinking more than one cup per day of coffee. Then actually this is the best option because you can get it down to a, a, a cheaper price and it is the best tasting of the three. If the only thing you worry about is the is the the price and you want to get the best deal possible javi is the best in that case if you're not worried about really the flavor all that much if you're just drinking coffee to be quick and to give you as much energy as possible the javi is one for you but it is definitely the worst in taste and it's the most confusing when it comes to how you dose it out per cup because one to two teaspoons isn't really a official number and 30 servings per bottle it says that officially in the bottle 30 servings in one bottle but that's like a really weird 5.9 milliliters to add to a cup to get to that 30 range um, I did the math and if you just do it one teaspoon it's a little it's like 35 and like then a piece of servings in the bottle and if you do two teaspoons it is like 17 or so uh, servings so it's then way lower um, the one by seems to be the one that's kind of in the middle for everything it is definitely cheaper than Jot and it definitely tastes better than the Javi. And it tastes good. It's just that the Jot tastes better. So both the Jot and the One by they both taste good. The Jot's just a lot smoother and richer, whereas the One by is a more fruity flavor. Um, it's probably like more like a dark roast, light roast kind of situation. Um... If I were to purchase these again, then I think that I would go with the one buy. Just because it is significantly cheaper than the Jot one at a dollar thirty per cup instead of two dollars and fifteen cents per cup. Um, I don't drink four, forty-two cups of coffee in a month. So I don't think that would be, uh, it wouldn't be for me to get the, the three cups per month subscription to try to uh, save money. So that's it. I'm going to say the overall winner of this is probably Jot, flavor, especially flavor-wise. Um, for the simple fact that if you get it in the subscription, it becomes affordable. It's the best tasting, and if it's something you're going to have a lot, it becomes affordable for you. If, you, if it's just something you're going to have every so often, then it's not going to be as affordable. Um, definitely, Javi wins just when it comes to concentration. It has the most caffeine per bottle and it is the smallest bottle it's the most concentrated one by wins if you just want to be in the middle of the road you want to save some money but you still want some good flavor and if you're a fan of the lighter roasts it's definitely the one for you um, I don't drink coffee nearly enough I probably drink one coffee every weekday 
Um, I'll drink coffee on the weekends, like if I'm out for breakfast or brunch kind of thing. Um, and sometimes I'll have an espresso at the end of like a big meal. But uh, I'm not like a huge coffee drinker that needs a cup every day or that needs more than one cup per day. Uh, typically one cup is enough for me. So these three cups is going to be a lot for me. Uh, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just give a little bit of... I'm going to taste each one of them just uh, kind of straight up. I'm just going to give it like a little drip. I'm going to jot. Very, very strong, bitter. Like all the flavors are super concentrated. Now, Johnny, that is way too much. Let's see if I can get back in the bottle. like super bitter I think like the Javi almost tastes like uh, the green coffee extract that um, Dunkin Donuts adds to their supercharged coffees and last but not least we're going to taste the, the one by One by is the one that tastes best by itself, really. Again, I think that's because it's a light, a light roast style, um, so it has more sweet, fruity flavors and less bitter flavors that, that you get the further uh, and the more you roast a coffee bean. All right, that's the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know if you've tried either one of these three. Um, let me know if you think it's weird that these two companies kind of like live next to each other down the street, but as much as I looked it up, they don't have anything to do with each other. The founders, uh, they're both on LinkedIn. They've never worked together. It's just interesting. Anyway, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.